At OIBJC, our core business is the manufacture of glass containers for the packaging industry, primarily servicing the food and beverage markets in Southeast Asia. Why choose glass? The benefits of glass packaging are clear. It is sustainable. It is virtually inert. It is 100% recyclable, reusable, and refillable. It is safe to store food and drinks in, and it is a premium way to market your products. Glass containers do not contain phthalates or biphenyl A or any other potential hormone disruptors or carcinogens. It offers long shelf life as high levels of vacuum and carbonization can be maintained and it can protect the product from the harmful effects of light. Manufacturing process. Where do we start? Stage one, raw materials. The major raw materials used in glass container production include sand, limestone, soda ash, collet. Collet is recycled glass that helps to reduce the amount of raw materials needed to make new glass. Collet provides an important energy savings by lowering the temperature required for the melting process, helping to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Stage two, batching. One, raw materials are delivered to the batch house where they are visually inspected prior to being stored in silos. Two, it is then weighed and mixed to produce batch. Three, the batch is then delivered and stored at the furnace, where it is melted to form glass. Stage three, melting. The batch is continuously fed into one end of the furnace via a batch charger. A combustible mixture of natural gas and air is forced into the furnace to generate a temperature of approximately 1,565 degrees Celsius. It is here that the batch is melted to produce glass. Stage four, feeders. At the end of the forehearth, the glass is then forced through an opening in the bottom of the spout called an orifice ring. The glass is then cut by blades called shears. Those shears are timed perfectly to cut elongated cylinders of glass called gobs. Each gob has the correct amount of glass to produce one container. At this stage, they are ready to be formed into glass containers and are delivered to the forming machine. Stage five, forming. The forming machine uses compressed air to transform the gobs into containers in a two-step process. The gob is delivered to the blank side of the machine where it is formed into a parison, which is a blank form of the container. It is then transferred onto the mold side of the machine where it is blown into the final shape of the container. Stage six, hot end coating, tin coating. Once formed, the containers are sent through a hot end coating hood and are covered with a thin layer of tin. This is part one of a permanent coating process. Stage seven, annealing. When a new glass container is formed, the outside surface cools more rapidly than the inside surface, causing stresses in the glass. The process to relieve these stresses is called annealing and is done in a layer. The leer reheats the containers, then gradually and evenly cools them to room temperature. The time taken to travel through the leer depends on the container, but on average is between 60 and 80 minutes. Stage eight, hold and spray, Duracoat. At this stage, a thin layer of polymer is applied to the container to provide them with a scratch resistant coating. This coating will also allow the containers to travel along the customer's filling line without jamming. Stage nine, inspection. Before packaging, each glass container undergoes a rigorous inspection process to ensure the highest quality. 
It is inspected at multiple stages of the production process. Bottles that do not meet OIBJC's stringent design specifications are rejected and recycled as cullet. Finished containers are prepared for shipment by our packaging department. From our warehouses, our products are shipped all over Southeast Asia.